Other news this noon, capital murder suspect Jordan Gossin has been found mentally competent to stand trial for an April 2018 double murder. Gossin is one of six men charged in the deaths of Arturo and Miriam Lopez. A prosecutor say he is one of three men who fired fatal shots during the Balchuk Lane home invasion. Besides capital murder, Gossin is also charged with engaging in organized crime. Back in August, he asked for an examination to see if he was mentally competent to stand trial. This morning, his attorney notified the judge that a psychiatrist found Gossin to be sane and competent. There's no word yet on when he'll go to trial. A Hamlin middle school teacher accused of sexually assaulting a child has been released from the Nueces County Jail. 47-year-old Anthony Quintanilla is out on bond. According to conditions set by a judge last week, Quintanilla must wear a GPS monitor, have no contact with the victim or her family, and stay off the internet and social media. Quintanilla was arrested last week. He also is facing a charge of having an improper relationship with a student. Well, at this hour, a water boil is in effect for residents of Refugio. That's according to the county sheriff's office there. That announcement did not include any information on why the water boil was issued. It only says that it will remain in effect until further notice. Hey, get ready for traffic delays if you happen to be traveling to or from the island. Beginning today, some lanes of Park Road 22 between Flower Bluff and the island will be shutting down. That's because of an inspection on the JFK Causeway, and it's expected to take about two weeks. The closures will affect both east and westbound lanes and will happen between 830 in the morning and 430 in the afternoon. Coming up on Chris 6 News at noon, women in the coastal bend have a new option when it comes to hysterectomies. We've got details up next. Chris 6 News at noon continues. Well, good afternoon. You know, we had our cold front go through, and last night you might have heard a little rain on your roof, but not everybody saw that. You can see from our rain reports here, it stayed dry inland, but we did pick up eight hundredths in Corpus Christi and about two tenths at Rockport, two hundredths at Port Aransas. Certainly not a lot of rain, but we do have that north wind now, and you can see from our live CCRV weather bug, uh, we have 78 degrees of north northeast wind at 20 miles an hour. It's pretty gusty right behind that front that came through, but we also are starting to see those 
sky is breaking up and some sunshine out there. On our Waves Resort, North Padre Island, look, you can see a 75, three hundredths of an inch of rain and those gusty winds with the cold front that has gone through. The rain has pushed off the coast now. We are going to stay dry this afternoon. You can see the difference in temperature with this. Farther to the north, only at 57 right now at Amarillo. But as you go south, of course, it's a little bit warmer. And that front sitting just off the coastline at this time. Here at home, here are the temperatures right now. 80 at Beeville, 81 Robstown at 75 at Port Aransas right now. Now these temperatures are actually going to come up a little this afternoon as we have a little more sunshine that starts to come out and that drier air that's moving in. You can see that drier air with our north northeast wind, which is up to about 22 miles an hour out there. Now those winds will gradually die down as we head into the evening. So your day planner today, it is going to stay dry the rest of the day. We see those skies clearing out to just a mostly clear sky tonight. And as I mentioned, it's still going to be into those 80s this afternoon. But you will notice the difference tonight as temperatures drop tonight with our lows dipping uh, into those 50s in our inland areas. Take a look. These are the forecast lows for tonight. And we are down to 55 George West and Beeville, 60 at Corpus Christi, 57 Alice. Yes, it is going to be cooler tonight, lower to mid-60s right along the coastline. And that means a great start to the day tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow is going to be near normal. We reach into those 80s tomorrow, but low humidity, lots of sunshine, and a cooler morning means a gorgeous Tuesday for you. High temperatures Tuesday will reach anywhere uh, from 82 at Corpus Christi tomorrow, 85 Alice, 84 George West. Just a nice day with that low humidity. The winds are going to pick up again, a little bit breezy here for Tuesday and Wednesday, but by the end of the week, we have our next front coming in. Those northerly winds are going to be very gusty behind our next front. Let me show you when that arrives. Here's future track. Here's tomorrow morning. We have our drier air, our northerly winds. Those start to shift back around out ahead of the next system, and that's going to bring some moisture in from the south. That means a few showers are possible. Thursday is our next better chance of rain, Thursday into Thursday night. As the front moves in, we have our best shot at rain late in the day Thursday, but we still have an upper level wave moving across the area, so I left the shower chance in for Friday as well. And you are certainly going to notice the cooler air behind this one. This one is stronger and it is going to cool us down even more. So with that, here is your NEC Co-op Energy uh, seven day forecast. And you'll see those temperatures uh, coming back down to near 60 at night, tomorrow night and into Wednesday morning. You can see then those showers for Thursday. And then here's the big drop for the weekend. Friday is windy, still a chance of rain. And those temperatures come way down by the weekend, Mike. OK, thank you for that, Sharon. We'll check in with her again coming up in just a bit. Hysterectomies are the second most common surgery for women and 21st century technology is making the process just a bit easier. Doctors are using robotic technology to perform hysterectomies. Thanks to recent improvements, hysterectomies can be completed through a one inch incision hidden in the belly button. So a hysterectomy is a procedure, a surgical procedure where we remove the uterus. Um, it could be a total hysterectomy where you remove the uterus and the cervix or just a partial hysterectomy leaving the cervix in place. Robotic technology not only means smaller incisions, but also a quicker recovery for patients. The patient will usually stay in the hospital just one night and can be back at work in as quickly as one week. Before the robotic procedure, the recovery took up to six weeks. Well, a new report by the Centers for Disease Control finds that in 2017, suicide was the second leading cause of death among young Americans. Chris 6 News reporter Shelby Coppage is looking into the numbers and the people behind them. The suicide rate among people ages 10 through 24 has increased 56% from 2007 to 2017. I met with mental and physical health professionals here in the Coastal Bend to find out some struggles our youth are going through and how we can help. And I'll tell you what these ladies told me tonight here on Chris 6 News. Mike. When we return, we're going to tell you about a South Texas Fiesta that's coming up. It's part denim and part diamonds, and we'll show you who's behind it right after the break. Tonight on Inside Edition, how a woman was killed by a log. Was it deliberately pushed off of a cliff by two teenagers? Inside Edition reports at 630 on Chris 6.
Lettuce, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Check one, two, three, Michael. Check one, two, two, one, five, four, three.